This production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review episode number 63 for February 10th, 2008. The best of the best. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com or tales.gamefire.com. And uh, we are playing a little game here at the beginning, as we always do, or will from now on. Can you guess what map we are on? Well, if you guessed Sturzdorf, you would be right. That's right. So, let me introduce ourselves. Let's this is, this. of course, Tales of Heroes, your Company of Heroes community show. This is the video show. We do a video replay review. And we've got this week British versus Panzer Elite. We'll get closer to that in just a second. It's going to be a great matchup for you. I am Adam Abridger Ruzo, right here. <clears throat> here for the Gamefire Network, and with me as always since last show is Rogers, a.k.a. Sam Forrester. Welcome to the show, Sam. Hey, good to be here, Bridger. This is going to be a fun game, and we've done a little dance around trying to get a game going here for this shoutcast tonight, so uh, hopefully this one will work without any problems, and it'll be a really great game. Supposedly they are the top uh, Panzer Elite and British players respectively in the Company of Heroes beta currently, so it should yep. be a fantastic game. That's right. We have Yuri... On uh, on the British side, his current record is twenty nine and three, if I read that right, twenty nine and three in the beta as the British player. And on the Axis side, the Panzer Elite, we have Wise Badger or Bagger, Bagger R, and he is uh, seventeen and eight. They're both level five in the beta, uh, so we'll see how they go. This is a patch three point. Uh, no, 2.311. There we go. So we're at the five-second mark. We're going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. So we haven't done a 1v1 in a little bit. We're going to see how it goes. Instantly repacking the truck, not even building a lieutenant here. Interesting. Um, he's just following his rifle right away. I think he might just be going for this uh, fuel point. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, normally you build a lieutenant because... You can't necessarily get there and unpack in the time it takes your squad to cap, especially... He's going to go for the plus 16, you watch. Yeah, but that They're doesn't make any sense. It's going to take him quite a while to cap the plus 16. You'd think he'd at least be able to get a lieutenant in the meanwhile. That's an interesting strategy. We'll see what we'll see what he does with that. Meanwhile, we have uh, a second Kettenkrad coming out. Very interesting starts from these players. That's not usual for the British player, or for the Panzer Elite player either. Um, so they're yeah. capping the flag here, but as you can see, he's got his HQ truck here now. But maybe it takes a while to get him to where he wants it. Maybe he wants it way back in this corner, so it's a lot harder to kill. We'll see. That's possible. Kettenkrad, the first Kettenkrad might be this. being used to scout the enemy early in the game rather than cap. Or maybe he's going straight for the fuel. Yeah, it looks like he's going yeah. straight for the plus 16 fuel on this map. Very, very important on the right-hand side there. Um, plus 16 can give you a huge bonus in building tanks early in the game. So, yeah, I guess he knows exactly what he's doing because it took him that just that long to get his truck here. Wow. He's got I thought you had to have the uh, British HQ truck in the sector to deploy it, but connected to your home territory, but I guess not. No, no, wow. it doesn't have to be connected to your territory. You can just run out and cap a single at any point anywhere. Interestingly oh. enough, we got booby traps planted on the strap point before he caps it, which is actually a very oh. smart move. Uh, now he's going to turn tail and run. Let's see if... The British player gets caught by it. Second infantry section coming out by Yuri. Oh, I up, think up. he heard it. He noticed. He got him oh, out of that there. It close. only took a little bit of damage. But uh, there's an interesting thing. You can actually look and see uh, on the point if there's yeah. uh, if, if the enemy has taken uh, booby traps or has taken scorched earth, rather. Uh, the yeah. points will, will that he's touched will generate that sort of uh, little, just the strap points. We'll have a little uh, wires and things on them. Another very interesting fact somebody pointed out on the forums. If we take a look at the Ketten, you can see on the yep. back of the Ketten, on the seat, there's some dynamite and some, some and explosives. And that is actually a giveaway as to what doctrine the PE player has chosen. And if yeah, it's uh, Liftwaffe, I don't remember what he has, like some repair tools. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's not 
Uh, Luftwaffe, it's, cam it's, it's camouflage. It's got some camouflage stripes on it. And if it's uh, and if it's tank hunters, then it's got some repair tools on it. So interestingly enough, I think the scorched earth uh, ability right here, how the uh, Axis player used it, was very important because he used it more of it as a delaying tactic. Because I'm pretty sure that the booby traps do uh, dot damage. So basically, he delayed that infantry section for capping that, although a little time. But in the meantime, he did, and that's probably going to allow yeah, him. Yeah, look to at the map. The Axis player's got everything. <clears throat> yeah. So he's he's in pretty good shape with the double Ketten start. He's he's really done a great job capping this map. He's basically yeah. got everything except for a plus ten and a plus five, and yeah. uh, left the Allied player with just a two plus sixteens. Which is, of course, if you're the British player, not that bad because he's going to sit his two trucks on there and then pump up the secured resourcing. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, a third infantry section out. Wow, and we have a lieutenant out as well, <clears throat> connecting the territories with the fuel and the home base. Yep. That's going to the pop cap he needs. With three sections. There we go. Oh, right he's back, and he's not going to make it, though. It's trying to take off. Damaged engine. Nope. Not no, going to happen. Bro. Goodbye. The Out of control. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, another Ketten in trouble. He's going. He's running. He's trying to get out of there. He's maneuvering. He's on the road. He's going to get the bonus. Rifle grenades are up by uh, wow, the second squad. really? Yep. Yeah. He's already got rifle grenades. Yep. He didn't spend and his we have early order. 50. He's coming up here at the middle. Oh boy, that's that's great placement right there. That's going to help him control that entire sector right there. That's really detrimental for the PE. And we have, uh, what is that, an infantry half truck out by uh, Badger. Alright, so we'll see. That's definitely going to help because all they got is infantry right now. And that's a pretty early infantry half track because he, with the two cat and start, he got to that fuel really quick. He's also already booby trapped that, uh, that victory point there. Very good ah. use of that. Early in the game, a double Ketten Scorched Earth start with lots of booby traps, as as many places as you can get. You know, if you can get really lucky and the uh, British player isn't paying attention, maybe he's getting a big battle and he tells somebody to go cap something, you can get so you can kill a whole squad sometimes with the booby traps. Not necessarily the Ketten one, because those are a little bit weaker. But the, uh, the Panzer um, Grenadier one. Just completed. And uh, the... Panzer Elite player is doing a great job by keeping his half-track back, except for now he's moving it a little bit too close, but earlier he was doing a great job keeping it back and dealing a lot of damage to those expensive infantry sections. Yep. We got a mortar half-track out, too, by uh, Badger. That's that's a quick mortar half-track. Yeah, wow. And he's actually... Oh, he's got other guys over here that are just sort of broadsiding each other, like some <laughs> pirate something. I don't know. Oh, no, but they're throwing grenades from... From inside one building directly into the other. It's a good time oh. to get out. There comes a mortar. Definitely a good time to get out. Good dodge. Tier 2 truck is up from Yuri. That's probably going to go straight to the plus 16 fuel. Oh, look That's at this. He's already got vet on that uh, infantry half track. He's got defensive yep. vet on it. Which is probably a good call because he's going to want that it thing is. to stay alive. It's a pretty expensive investment. Ouch! That mortar pit is devastating now. Even though he's Great. got the infantry. Great. on that mortar <laughs> Oh, we have a casualty clearing center up as well, and that's an early casualty clearing center. Normally you wouldn't see one that early. That's good placement, too. He'll be able to heal all his units, and the Tier 2 truck is moving into the fuel sector now. But, uh, let's see what else we have. Yeah, slowly and steadily. Let's take a look at the whole map here. Okay, the first big skirmish is over. The uh, They're sort of falling back to lick their wounds. Meanwhile, uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a lieutenant in trouble here. He's going to try and stick around and cap that. Nope, he's out of there. Hopefully he can chase it down. Yeah, if he's... If he's oh, it's uh, going to get away. No, it's going to get away. Oh, send booby traps on his again. Yeah, excellent nice. work Nice. Very good use of the Doctrine ability. Yeah. And there's the casualty and, clearing uh, station pulling an extra guy back. Yep, and Yuri has done a great job with this mortar emplacement. Even though he can't quite see into the, the fog of war, he's just guessing where that half-track is and continually mortaring it. And yeah. the uh, yeah. Axis Mortar hasn't been able to do any damage to the 3-inch Mortar right now. Oh, no, it never does. The, for some reason, yeah. the the British Mortar emplacement is, like, completely... I mean, look at it. It's got no roof, but it's completely immune to any kind of artillery fire, which, even if it's directly on top, which is very unfortunate. I would, well, the I British would, put their structures, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would love to see the emplacements be very, very resolute against any kind of near misses from artillery, but direct hits really should do some damage. We have an early Panzerschreck up on Panzergrenadiers at this little engagement right yeah. here. 
this is a, this is a powerful engagement. That's that's quite early Panzer Shreks too, considering how much fuel he's spent on the infantry half track and the mortar half track. That's interesting. Tank yeah. Buster's up as well. Oh man, he's got to get him out of there. Oh, wow. there we go. Yep, 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 yep. He made it. Yep, he <laughs> I don't like that fence there. Move it. Wow. <laughs> oh man, there's a nice grenade from the oh, that uh, was from the nice building there. It's yes. And he's, he's keeping the, the lieutenant protected, but it is taking damage. But uh, it's still good use of keeping your officer on the front lines where it can gain vet and give your units that combat bonus. I think he what he's doing is he, he got the double Shreks, uh, the second Shrek uh, early too, and I think it's obvious he's, he's expecting an early Stuart yeah. to pop out of the British side. We do have sappers up as well by Yuri, who are, uh -oh, I believe, uh -oh. where are they? Where did they go? They're building a ball force just south of this engagement right now. Oh, wow, that that's a great spot. Get out of there. Infantry section needs retreat. Nice retreat there. He could lose his uh, his lieutenant here, which would be very detrimental. It's already level it's, one. Oh, it's too. actually a 17-pounder up. Oh, is it? It wasn't a ball force. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 17-pounder AT. That's not a I, I did see great a little bit long range for that, but right uh, yeah. Fantastic. Now, it is vulnerable, though. He's, he's only got one infantry section to defend it. They could start dropping mortars on it and rush in some uh, d the Shrek squads, and they could really yeah. lose it very easily while he's pulling his guys back. Of course, he doesn't know that because he can't see it yet. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, wasn't there a bug somebody reported? You can actually, as soon as the British place an emplacement or a trench, you can see it on the mini-map. Uh-oh, there it is. Whoa. His infantry half tracks big. pulling back. Yeah. Very good uh, adjustment, though. Quick, yeah. quick response time. A second round would have definitely finished that half track off. Good, good unit uh, awareness right there. It's excellent. All the units are healed up and heading out of the uh, the base area, and we have Royal Engineers chosen, and he's about 300 manpower away from a Churchill uh, tank. Oh boy, huge engagement here. Panzer leader overwhelming. Yeah with numbers yep and now here it is they're going to be able to come down here and, and roast this 17 pounder with infantry this is going to be the first shrek does tons of damage here's the second one yeah. point blank another tons oh, of damage. oh wow okay well the british player is going to come up from the middle right now oh, here it and is he's going to come up from behind on all these infantry and unfortunately he loses the 17 pounder in the process yeah he's going to make the panzer lead pay big for this here he's got a whole bunch of infantry section booming up with lieutenant support vet one and this recon section needs to get out of there. He might lose a recon section. Oh, in the building there, I yeah. Build. Ouch, that's a trouble. Snipe that unit, no. Okay. Oh, he got the he got the Panzer Elite squad with the Panzer Shrek. Hopefully, oh he picks no, it up. he's picking it up he's right now. It. There it is. Ouch. Excellent. Panzer Excellent. Shrek squad on a on a on a grenadier on a grenade or a rifle grenade squad. Holy crap! I can't talk. All right. Uh, meanwhile, though, the tickets have been draining for the uh, in favor of the the German player. Oh, a nice yeah. mortar got two of them. They're gonna have to retreat. Gonna have to retreat. Ooh, wow. They're in big trouble that there. Oh, they and dropped. Did they drop the Shrek? Down. No, they dropped a Yeah, brand. he dropped the Shrek, and he he's gonna pick brand. it up and probably run away. He's got to get out of there. A lot of offensive vet up. This is surprising. It's also uh, interesting. Oh, he did. To there it is. He lost the Shrek. It, it didn't wow. drop, but he did lose it. It's interesting to see that the infantry half track has defensive and offensive vet. That's that's good. That shows the signs the player knows what he's doing. Oh yeah. He's getting defensive bonus and offensive bonus instead of all one together. We have a Churchill tank moving up. Wow. And that's big. Very early yeah. for a Churchill too. Ouch. Yeah. That's gonna be big. Panzer Jaeger command is coming up as well, and my guess is he's gonna get martyrs and possibly armored cars to try and help out here. Oh, this running. is gonna route the Axis players completely here. Yep. He's running. He's trying to get the mortar out of there. Engine damage. It's too late. You can't do it. There it is. I don't care how how slow. Oh, he's going to steal right behind the tank. He's the Shrek squads are comes. coming, but he's probably going to use tank shock on him. At least that's what I probably would do. Is he going to use tank shock? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he did. I think he did. He used a lot of munitions on something. Oh. One of the half tracks is down. That was the that was the oh that was the infantry half track that went down. Yep, I and think, he's oh I, he got the uh, yeah got he got the mortar half track. Wow. Yep. I mean and for a, for something they call a heavy tank, it sure takes a, a really few amount of hits with a Panzer Shrek to take it out. Oddly enough, was... here it goes again. Oh my God, it's so slow and it really doesn't seem to have heavy armor. Yeah. I mean, it's just, these Shreks do a damage to it like it's Against a tanks, it does fare a lot better than Churchill. Ah, oh, the crane came down. That's interesting. <laughs> I've never quite seen that happen. 
I don't think. What have the Germans done? Okay. The first. U What's the first unit out of the uh, Panzer Jaeger Command, Bridger? Uh, we have a Martyr, which is a very good uh, idea. That is. If he manages to charge in there, he'll easily be able to get it. What do we have? Uh, do those sappers have an upgrade? Did they they, get, uh, they do, I believe, yes. And what was that? Was that a booby Sector trap? Artillery. Sector, Sector Artillery. Sector Artillery. That is early. Very wow. early. There's been a lot of a lot of engagement, though. Lots of death on both sides. So very high v CPs. That's how the Churchill came out so early, too. All right. Well, and one thing that I don't really like about sector artillery is once you lose that sector, it basically doesn't do anything anymore. Once it even you goes neutral, it, right? yeah, yeah. It would be nice if you get a sector artillery and the defensive, uh, the defensive bonus to line of sight. What are they have? Yeah, yeah no, that would remember. be nice. Like demo charges and things have. We have a vet two lieutenant capping on the left hand side, which is risky because he's definitely oh, not yeah. blue. Didn't we have uh, booby traps on there too? We, I think it went off earlier. He yeah, just, he must he have, just he must have dodged it. it. Here comes Whole another. Bunch of... Oh, no, they're retreating. Just... All right. You might want yeah, to pause should... it here in a second. So let's pause okay. it in three, two, one. Pause. All right. What are you at? 13... I'm at 1355. All right. I'm at 1354. Okay. So let's just take a look at the map here and see what we have for both sides. So uh, we've got a martyr. On the Axis side, we have three Panzer Grenadier squads, two of which are Shrek, one of which has the, uh, the, oh my god, I can't remember the name now. The 30, the, 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 the 40, the Gewehr oh, 41, Gewehr 41, 43, Gewehr 43, there we go. Wow, it's been a long time since I played Dave Defeat. Okay, so <laughs> the British player, meanwhile, has, it looks like a infantry section, Back at the base, healing up with a Bren. Yeah. We've got a uh, rifle squad, a ri rifle grenade squad, and a uh, infantry section with a the recon upgrade. So he's got one of each of the infantry yeah. sections plus a mostly completely healed Churchill. Yeah. So this is going to be. I, I gotta give it in favor of the British if it's a smart use of the Churchill. I don't think he needs to the Churchill right now with three infantry sections against three Panzer Grenadiers, especially with those upgrades. The rifle grenades and the Bren are gonna easily be able to take out these Shrek Panzer Grenadiers. Yeah, they're gonna be devastating. I think what uh, it's, what you're gonna see here is the mortar emplacement is gonna be absolutely crucial because when the, even if the Panzer Grenadiers manage to make some ground on the infantry sections, which is unlikely because he doesn't have enough infantry killing power right now, um, they, it would just be annihilated because it, as soon as they take cover, the mortar would just zero in on them. I think the greatest problem right now for the, for the, uh, for the British player right now is the Martyr, which will be able to pick off the infantry because it is hauled down right now. But the hold down ability could work against him because, as we know from the beta, it takes a lot longer to sight the gun and to remove the sight from the gun to get it away. So he could actually lose a lot in this engagement. All right, and we have a friend squad that will probably make it to the front, too. All right, let's see how it turns out. We're going to unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. Here comes the infantry engagement. Very smart for the German player to uh, try and retreat those guys a little farther away. He's recapped that he's actually placing uh, charge Sector on that artillery. strap point. Sector artillery is helping him. It makes mm -hmm. that martyr a lot harder to attack. That's for sure. Yep. That's well done. That's really that's good placement right there. Meanwhile, he's got he's planted the booby traps on the other. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, sector artillery plus booby traps is very good because you mentioned it's 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 kind of useless against you know points once you lose them. Oh, he gets in the building first. That's bad news. Oh wow! I did not see that coming. No, I guess the British that's player didn't surprise. think it was important. We have an over-repaired Churchill, though, that's going to help against that, in addition to the mortar emplacement that's going to make it hard for the British to bunk I mean, the uh, Germans to bunker down. Yeah, meanwhile, they're losing the left side. That lieutenant yeah. is just chilling over there. Yeah. Recapping the victory point, though, going to help slow down the tickets as they're draining now. They're, now, the, the German player is still ahead by a little bit less than 100 points, but, uh, uh-oh, what is this? 25-pounder being built back at the base. It's a little oh too exposed for my taste, but he's not, uh, yeah. he's not the Royal Canadian, so he has to build it a little bit more forward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. We have booby traps being laid while the point is being captured on the VP. That's One thing cool. I'd like to see as well is, uh, building booby traps placed. On this map, it could really work for him. Oh, yeah. And I don't know oh, if you're noticing this, Bridger, but there's a little bug where the infantry who have placed the demolition charge are just scooting on the ground, holding on to the uh, demolition charge like a little, like, motorcycle. 
and they're just moving stationary. Oh, say good night oh. to your lieutenant. Booby trap goes off, oh, and he is drop. gone, ladies and gentlemen. That is worth an instant replay. Awesome. Vet two lieutenant. Very cool. Vet two lieutenant lost. He didn't hear the click. That's that's the the couple of times. Uh oh, armored car. Not a bad choice. It's 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 very good at killing infantry. It's a little bit stronger than a scout car. Probably sector a artillery stronger. drop in the middle. Oh. Excellent work. That's a great He's spot. Using that sector artillery to complete and utter excellent use. The armored car went down unfortunately yeah. to that Shrek rifle team. But uh, the 25 pack is firing up Martyr. Okay. Yep. Wow. The martyr's probably gonna survive unless they get a direct hit on it. Let's see. Oh, he's managed to move it's it. Nice, nice micro there. And uh, okay. we have the Churchill that is gonna move up. It's gonna get the mine plow, so we're probably gonna see some tank shock and mine plow ownage. And we actually have the C Churchill crocodile available if he has enough. Ma oh, direct hit from sector artillery onto the Churchill. Did you see that? Wow. No, oh. I missed it. Okay. Oh, two martyrs up. Oh wow! That's that's there's gonna be a, very there's difficult. a there's a near miss from the sector oh. artillery. Martyr's got to turn good. around. Oh my God, he's backing into it. Oh, oh no! His oh. martyr got hit by his own Panzer Shrek. His martyr got there. hit by his own yeah. martyr. Is it gonna wow. make it out in time? Excellent micro. Can he get it out of there? Yes, he's gonna get it out of there. Oh excellent. no, the Churchill's going oh, to the wrong place. Oh, that was big. Whoa! Excellent micro by the Panzer relief yeah. player and getting his M his, uh, his martyr out of there. In addition to killing the Churchill, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. Excellent wow. Work. Okay, so let's take a look at the tactical perspective now. The the, the uh. All right, I'm gonna pause at the 1725 right, mark. And Bridger, you got dropped again. What the hell? All right, so uh, the Germans interrupting our communications. We're back. Here we go. So, uh oh, is this another? Uh, oh, that was another booby trap going off. In the middle, got two guys. There, the rest of them are going off. See the booby traps. Oh, they're placed, getting too close. The booby traps placed by the Panzer Grenadiers are really nasty. They go off over time, and they yeah. do quite a bit of damage over a wide area. The the ones placed by the Kettenkrad are not nearly so bad. Uh oh, very very good. You know, gas from the 25-pounder. Yeah. It just eliminated a martyr, I believe. No, that was just an explosion as the martyr backed up. I don't know where the other martyr went. Oh, the other martyr's on the left-hand side. Yeah, that was... Chilling. I'm still amazed that he was able to micro that out and kill the Churchill. That was excellent work. Well, that gun's in trouble. That's interesting. We had a crazy go-nuts physics error in the game. You gotta love those. Alright, so we have enough for another sector artillery. Which would be great because they're building a trench right oh. on the border. Recapturing the left and placing booby traps. He's doing a very good job of utilizing that to its full extent. That's definitely got to make the British player annoyed with how cautious he has to be. Yeah. Because he's got to keep an eye on everything, and that's what really one of the oh, strengths no. of Scorched Earth. Wow, they're in the trench. I'm surprised he didn't respond to that. That could be very no, difficult. He can't see it. He doesn't know. Oh, that's true. Right? I mean, let me check. Well, wait a minute. It is his sector. The red sector is his, at least from my view. So well, that must he's, be blue. he's half in the red sector. He's half in the blue sector. Okay. Right. Well, and then he's got a second trench building just north of the VP. Now he's yeah, in that one, too. So if he does notice that, it's sector artillery. Oh, well, sector artillery is not going to do anything against trenches anyway, unfortunately. Even direct hits won't do anything. Uh-oh. Attack on the it's left. They do have MP44s. They do, but I don't know. They, does he have a flame grenade? Uh, flame grenades? Do you know if he does? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, I and mean, I, I wasn't paying attention to the HQ at any particular time. But he might. Mortars yeah. doing long distance support fire. However useless that would be. <laughs> well, mortar uh, martyr just went down to the 25 pounder. Really? Excellent. There, yeah. yeah it is. It's a burning martyr next to the church hill. That's something. More booby traps. I don't know. If, I don't know if it was that. I think it must have been the Bren because the 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 twenty five pounder shooting way behind it. I think the Bren's it could have uh, been a lucky shot, random shot that can happen. It was pretty low, and if they buttoned it, they might have been able to keep it there and kill it. True. Oh no! What is this going on in the middle? He was racing for the trench. <laughs> it's a race for yeah. the trench. Didn't work out. And we have the Churchill Croc on the field for Yuri right now. That's going to be devastating. There's only one martyr left, as far as I know. Yeah. Is he? What's he building at the Panzer Jaeger Command now? Another Britain? martyr. Ah. If at first you don't succeed, Build try, another the same, try the same thing again and make it fail a second <laughs> time. I don't know. Let's see. I always love the way the Churchills looked. Yeah. They're very cool looking. I just haven't really been impressed by their 
killing power, but... <laughs> maybe, well, no, I guess not their killing power, just their, um... Just their vulnerability, because they are so yeah. slow. They're as slow as a tiger, but they, they don't have the armor at all. Yeah, oh, sector good. artillery is on the... Oh, God! Oh, oh, oh. That, was, that was, was an entire squad right there. That was a Bren squad, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Bren squad. That's that's some devastation. Look at those body and parts. And it hits the Churchill as well. That is big. That is very He's going big. for the trench. Oh, but it's a crocodile. You can hide in that trench all you want. It's not going to happen. It's Just, not going to matter. I, I hope he deletes it. Hopefully he deletes it. But it's probably going to nope. die here. He flamed oh, it up. Rear armor. A lot of Panzer Shreks Holy running around the map. Man. And the... Uh, Another mortar half track up, Sneaking actually, in. and the squad went down. Yeah, mortar half track used incendiary grenades. Meanwhile, Ex the MP forty fours came in. Very, very nice tactics by the PE player. Done. And look at the range on that good. crocodile. It just killed an assault grenadier squad that retreated. Wow, Did you see I that? thought he was home free. Yeah, nope, he got even with the defensive bonus of the retreat. That thing has a huge range. And the martyr is trying to take both martyrs. He's grouping the martyrs up here, which could be a problem for that twenty-five pounder. Probably just looking for an opportunity. Sector uh, artillery. He might get it. He turned the martyr on. He there got it into is. The rear trench. armor hit. He's got the guys in the trench. This could be it for the Churchill. He needs there to face it. it from yeah, that's that's detrimental. Well, okay. So what can we got? A whole bunch of infantry moving up from the British player right now. We have Piots upgrading. <laughs> Piots on uh, Yuri's sappers right now. Oh, we got a 17 pounder built in the middle. It's being yeah, hit by the yeah. Shreks, though. Ouch. Yeah. Now, why Man, is this that one? It seems like this one's taking less problem. damage from the Shreks. Mm. Oh, because it's being repaired at the same time. Yeah, Mortar Half Track is up also shelling the uh, that little cluster of British units. That, that 17 pounder is going down, whether he likes it or not. Yeah. Wow. Wow, it's two 17 pounders that have pretty much not. Oh! And then he loses... Not, oh, no, that was just still the 3XP. I thought he lost something else. See, those, that trench right now is going to be the turning point of this game. Yeah, and having he has, captured that with the with the Shrek squad. That was definitely a huge wow, look, turning point here. A triple veterancy Panzer Grenadier squad. Triple offensive, uh, uh, double offensive, and then one triple... Oh, but he's uh, in one, trouble. He's got to uh, move it. He's Pity doesn't have a recon health. section that he could use the snipe ability on. That would be really helpful. Yeah. He's getting it out of there. That's a good timing. He wanted to get that mortar emplacement really bad, but yeah. he's got martyrs that are shooting at it. That's true. There it and, is. Uh, oh, there goes the mortar emplacement. This is looking bad for the British player. Piots are coming out, though, and now they retreat because the assault grenadiers are running in. And here's that rifle section with the... Uh, we have an infantry section reformed at the casualty clearing center. Excellent work there. So that's definitely going to help for him. itself now. Yeah, definitely. And we have a Bren upgrading on that squad. The Martyr is going to move up a little bit. It's possible that the Axis player could overextend his reach now, and the British player could just come back. Oh, where are we shooting? Where are we firing. shooting? On the, on the Martyr. Martyr. Yep. That could actually get it, but uh, no, he's going to get it. Nope, he's got out of there. <clears throat> yep. He could definitely use repairs on the Martyr, though. He could. And this martyr could be in trouble here. The assault grenadiers oh, drop like flies, and he's not going to be able to get the the sight off the main gun fast enough to get it out of there. I think the Piots, and he lost uh, an assault grenadier squad he as well. Didn't lose it. Uh oh, this is a turning point. You're right. He overextended himself, charging Good. into the base there. But nice micro backing up right <laughs> between those building. buildings. Excellent work there. Excellent work. I wouldn't be well. He did. He didn't get the strap point, unfortunately. The PE player, so he can't yeah, pop. Uh, no sector, sector artillery. artillery. He's got enough for two sector he's artillery. He's gonna get the martyr, though. I I'm pretty sure he's gonna get that martyr. If he doesn't, that'll just be. Oh, his, it hit the oh. victory point, but it destroyed engine from what? Uh, what was that? Was that a mortar? Could, could it have been a rifle? I'm not to grenade? watch the replay. I, maybe. Yeah. What do we have? That triple offense. Okay, we have an armored car up as well. He's just trying to get, desperately trying to get that. Oh, that was so close to the Martyr. That was so very close. And this infantry section could go down. We have a Churchill Croc up. And that's going to do a lot of damage here. The range on that flamethrower is insanity. Yeah, that's it's, really like, it's like old 1.7 Croc. Don't remind me. I still have nightmares of that. No, shoot that's them. Just... They're, they're taking the dead back. Shoot them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Is he yeah, shooting well, at the martyr? Thunder is dropping on the martyr. Yep. Oh, he's dropping where he That's thinks the martyr it. is based on its damage engine. He that would have been a lucky shot here. That would have been a kill if the martyr yeah, had good. been backing up Definitely. with a destroyed engine. That would have that was very good prediction. That would have been perfect okay. if he hadn't stopped. That could have been excellent. I still think he's going to get this martyr here and it's probably going to it might even be this Bren squad that kills it. Because he's got very low health vehicles right now, and I think that's what's going to screw the Panzer Elite player over. Because he's going to over-repair his Churchill Croc. And he's got a Hummel up right now. Ooh. Whoa. Hummel is up. And Hummels are amazing. Yes, they are. Shape and form. And I don't know why it only says that they have a 7. More like a 9 to everything. <laughs> yeah. That must be a little yeah. error there. No but. VP's going, by the way, right now. They have captured the middle. I expect sector artillery it. any second now. This Churchill Croc is chasing a martyr. Uh-oh. Where did he drop sector artillery? Whoa, okay. Oh, the Hummel is firing on the hill. I was wondering what that was. It was firing um, just south of the VPs. Yeah, I think he killed the martyr. No, it didn't. Not quite. He's got two very low health martyrs here. Literally, a sneeze would take him out, and this Panzer Shrek squad might go down, and that'd be a huge loss for him. It's a triple vet squad, and I think he just got vet on the martyr as well. Yes, he did. He needs to get both of those back to the base and repair them. Yeah. You can't just leave them yeah. there. No, that's 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 way too risky, and it's a little bit careless because he has to. He's got he's got a good position in the middle right now, but those two two those two martyrs could easily be knocked out, and that would shift the game immediately again. Now look at this sector see artillery. I, see what Churchill. I was talking about? Booby traps right here in that building. That would have yeah. been so helpful. Him. He might not have the booby traps in the building though. I think that's on a separate side from the Hummel. No, it's oh! Like, oh, what it was is, that? Wow, is that a mortar? Hummel. That no, was it's the, the Hummel. Hummel. There it is. Excellent hit on the the Hummels are devastating against neutral buildings, and the Panzer Shrek was dropped. Oh, uh, the Churchill Croc is out. Main gun and destroyed maybe it's now. gonna fire again. Is it gonna shoot again? The twenty-five pounder got the other martyr yeah, in the backfield. Good. This one's still sitting there. Yeah. Very, very that close game. Hundred been really helping him. That's been that's been definitely important for him staying in this game. This Piot squad is just trying desperate. Oh, it's gonna get it. Nope. How did nope, they nope. miss both of them? Piots are so off course. They just. Lazy Piot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there was a medic that just running. Is working so much for the Panzer Elite player right now. He can just hop out, hop in, hop out, oh, hop in. Bad, unfortunately, bad micro there. He, he accidentally clicked away before yeah. it was completely capped. So. He's gonna start the drain again on the on the on the British side. What are they gonna be able to do here? He's got he doesn't have his third truck out yet, it doesn't look like. Yeah, He's only got one out. one infantry squad, one sapper squad. And I think that's it. And a church of crocodile. I'd say commandos tier three could have done him a lot better, probably this game. Commandos in tier three. It looks like it. But we're still only yeah. about three quarters through, so something uh they both don't even know each other. Five pounder. It's missing, but it, it got a hit on it. It did a lot of damage. Yeah, it's only got about a half left. Or not, not three quarters left, maybe two thirds. Hummels are absolutely devastating. They're very, very They're difficult tough. to get to, though, and they're on a tree that doesn't have a whole lot of other bo bonuses. Exactly, yeah. So I think it's fairly balanced how it's placed. Armored car moving up the right hand side. Not a bad probably idea. Gonna scout that. It's probably going to scout the tier two truck. You can just cap that VP, too, and run away. Oh, no, that's right. It's armored car, not a scout car. Does he have booby traps on all of the uh, left resource side. points right now, the Panzer League player? Uh, let me check. Left side, we have booby traps on the victory point and the plus 10 munitions on the left-hand side and the middle VP. Interesting. Uh -oh. we have, uh, armored armored cars going down. Yeah. Out of control. What is he? Out of control, spinning in place. That's awesome. He went into disco <laughs> mode. Yeah, that's it, disco mode. I want that upgrade on my armored car. I want to spend 300 munitions to go into disco mode. I'm going to dance the enemy to death. <laughs> that would be excellent. That's what the funk wagon should be for. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't All right, we got a I big push. No time to talk. I just want to take, you know, Battlefield Vietnam, how that uh, just starts blasting the music. Uh-oh, <laughs> the martyr fully repaired versus an over-repaired Churchill. 
this this croc is gonna do a lot of damage here. No, probably. it's it's going the wrong direction. Its flame should be pointed at those infantry. Martyr's gonna die though. Oh wow, is it is. Look good. at that. Martyr is gonna go down. No, it misses. Oh jeez, don't shoot your Shreks at your own martyr. He's got yeah. that very well placed. He can still hit the infantry. Look at that. There it goes. Excellent. Hummel, Excellent. Hummel hitting the enemy infantry. Go Hummel. And there's no actually that's sector artillery that was activated. Oh, is that? Oh, it is sector artillery. Now I see the mini map. Yep. I believe the Hummel's still on cooldown. Two Bren machine guns were dropped, so the Panzer League could be like, ha ha, pick up. He I'm might sure get go. Can... Yeah, he's gonna go for this mortar half track now. The Panzer League are just running back and forth on fire. Oh man, 25 pounder after the mortar half track too. It's damage engine yeah, gone. It's down. Gone. Good, good sighting for their artillery there. That was really important that he took that out. That's been a pain in his side for a while. I'm amazed he hasn't gone for the VPs, but honestly, he has one infantry squad right now. And that is a Piot section. <laughs> That's He needs yeah. more killing power and infantry power. He needs two or three sections, I'd say, at least, to, keep, to stay in this game. He may get another infantry section for free here. Probably will. Uh-oh, 25-pounder being targeted by the Hummel yep. yet again. Firing on, wow, that's a huge blast radius, look at that. That is a huge AoE hit, and all the trees go flying, I it's just terrible. He's keeping the Hummel just barely out of range of the 25-pounder, you notice that? I wondered yeah. why he wasn't yeah. closer. You get a tighter circle, but that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Another Churchill Croc on the field, and see, I think he would really be better off with infantry right now because he is just losing the capping war and the VP war, even though he is pretty even with the VPs, so he doesn't really need to worry about it yet. But still, he's playing a dangerous game here, letting the PE bunker down so hard. Yeah. Especially with Scorched Earth, they're just going to booby trap the crap out of everything. Here comes a look. full health crocodile into the middle. Wow, look at the suppression on that flamethrower. Oh, or was man. that tank shock? That must have been tank shock. Sure. It could have been, I don't been, think yeah. the flamethrower suppresses, but Martyr doing a lot of damage. He's got to get out of there. Yeah. He's Keeping close to the building, though. He's doing a good Excellent. job of, of, of... That's a very good micro. Why can't and I be this good? And he's called the 25-pounder observed fire over onto the martyr. But good micro by both sides. It's just... It's a this constant game of cat and mouse. It's just back and forth. Oh. One player reacts immediately. Oh, the martyr still might... One more shell. No. Nope. Will it fire? One more yep, shot. there's another shell coming in. Another shell coming in. Oh, just overshoots and destroys the train. <laughs> We, we have a Burger Tiger up. Interesting. It's going to... Oh, that's going to bring tiger? the marker, the half-track back. <laughs> Burger Tiger? That's going to be big. Yeah, that's going to be really big. You normally never see that in a 1v1, though. You know, that's very surprising. Yeah. Hummel firing again on the 25-pounder. This could knock it out of commission. 25-pounder, go ahead, sir! Very interesting. I love how, oh, that's a direct hit. I love how the 25-pounder, when you select them, they go, 25-pounder, go ahead, sir! Like, they can't hear anything anymore. Yeah. That makes sense. Another sapper squad upgraded. I don't know why he's building sapper squads other than the ability to repair, but he really needs infantry combat onto the field. That's what he needs. Yeah, we've got one, two, three Panzer Grenadiers in the field right now. He doesn't really have a way to do that. And there it is. We have a resurrected tank hunter. Yep. Now that he's got now he's got three martyrs on the or no, two martyrs in the field. Maybe maybe another one he can get. I'm not sure. He's got a yeah, is that a martyr? Martyr corpse? No, yeah. that's the uh, the the half track corpse there. Yeah, it is the. Uh, that's the. I believe that's the mortar half track, and uh, I think that's the only thing he can salvage. Other than that, he's going to use it for repairs unless he wants to go for the armored car on the right hand side. Bridger, I have a magic number for you. It is the number one thousand one hundred and twenty-five, and that that number symbolizes how much fuel the British player has and he's not oh, using. Jeez. <laughs> you could certainly wow. use a, a Cromwell command tank to go with these Churchills. That would help a lot. The oh. twenty-five pound could go down here in this barrage. Those those explosions are just absolutely huge. Yep, it's on fire. It is on fire. One more direct hit's gonna kill it. One more. I think that's it's it for this barrage. Nope, that's it. That is. Three twenty-nine to two ninety-four. Very close game here. Yes. But looks like the Panzer Elite player is really taking the upper hand right now. Yeah, that Hummel has definitely been instrumental in his pushback and just constant dislodge. We have a 25-pounder firing on... Nothing. Just north of the BP. Yeah, he's, he's just guessing. Oh, he hit a martyr by accident. <laughs> he did hit that martyr. That did a lot of damage to the trench, actually. Yeah. Bags are freaking out. The martyr is moving up, and it's going to KO the 25-pounder. Wow, that wow. was a nice... 
Nice hit. I bet he wishes he would have done that a long time ago. <laughs> we have an assault grenadier squad with a Bren light machine gun. <laughs> if only nice. they could button. If only they could button. Yeah, now, I mean, the British are uh, in big trouble here. I don't know that they're going to have a chance to get back. Another 25-pounder being built near the base sector on the left-hand side. Two over-repaired Churchill Cromwells, or Churchill flamethrower <laughs> crops. And they're coming up, but uh, I think they're going to get cut to pieces by these what, martyrs that are all locked down. But what kind where of are munitions? All? What kind of munitions does the British player have? Munitions has, let's see, 337 munitions right now, but the fuel is just atrocious how much fuel he has. So much fuel. He's going to go for the base. He is. He's going to go for the base. It might work, too. There's no the martyrs hummel. near the base. This is a sneak He's attack of epic proportions. He's going to get the Hummel. He <laughs> sneak attack hummel. of epic proportions because it takes him 10 hours to get there. Yeah. Sneak attack also because they're using one of the slowest units in the game, and they're also the largest. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, it's no. Not He's walking one in front of the other. That's no good. Nope. Now what is he going after? Is he gonna go after the Panzer Jaeger command? That, gonna try or to get, gonna the, get hummel. the hummel. Did it just get damaged by fire? It got damaged engine from fire. Well, the hatch is open. The doors but open in the back. And the oh yeah, it's, it's in trouble. Five. Yeah, it's gonna go down. And the martyrs are moving to respond, but he's not gonna chase the hummel. He doesn't need to. Uh, hummel just goes into disco mode. <laughs> disco mode. <laughs> <laughs> they look so calm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gone, that's all. Now he needs to back those up really quick. Just yeah, drive them right the hell out. He, he accomplishes his mission. Roasting the Panzer Jaeger might be a good idea too. Look on I the right hand side. Three sh no, that's two Shrek squads and an Assault Grenadier squad. Capping the VP to get the tickers super fast down. And he's going to take out the tier 2 truck in addition. Oh, we got 25 up. pounder is firing oh. on the martyr advance on the right hand side. You see that? Our base is under attack. In the north. Ooh! Uh, like oh! It lands right there! Yeah. He's still shooting at the comp group. He's trying to kill it. Yep. Tier 2 truck went down on the right-hand side. Booby traps are being placed right now. These Churchills are in deep trouble, but the Martyrs are moving too slow. Sector artillery. <laughs> yeah, sector artillery activated, but that was a waste of 200 munitions. Yeah. He needs to get these VPs. I don't know. Yeah, VPs. Where's he going with the sappers? I think he, I I think he moved into repair, but he's going a little too far. Probably did. He's he moved his uh, HQ truck. Yeah, closer to I guess he thought it was a little too vulnerable over there. Yeah. He lost he's everything. He's a pop cap now. He called in another Churchill croc. I don't know if that's going to help him. He needs capping power. Yeah, what the hell now, are these Churchill sappers Crocs doing? Cap. What? They're going to run into the sector artillery. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, God. Right when the martyrs get there, too. I love how flimsy this gun is. It's like flaccid. It's ridiculous. Quite entertaining. We have another Hummel on the field. That's terrible. This could this very well spell the end. It, it very well could. 25 pounders firing on the advance of German armor on the left hand side. Hummel is responding in kind with an overshot. If only he had Overwatch. Overwatch would help a lot. I think either RCA or uh, Royal Commandos could have done a lot better job this game. Yeah, I have German never had a game that, that, that engineers could really, really, really do well for you. I just, I don't like them at all. Yeah, they're not oh, very. Burger Tiger takes a direct hit. Or three. Yeah. I think what really could have helped him is uh, also Fireflies. <laughs> they could have just sat at range with the yeah. command tank and just owned the Martyrs. Tier 3, the neglected yeah, over -repaired tier 3, yeah, Fireflies could have really helped them here. Yeah, they definitely, the over repair, the, I mean the over um, estimation of not eating Tier 3 and also the whole fact that he didn't have infantry late and mid game pretty much really hurt him, I think. That's probably what cost him. Whoa! When crocodiles attack. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey! Now here you see the crocodile is using its flame on a martyr. Now that's absolutely useless because it's a tank and not infantry. But they're going to go ahead and try anyway. Get one martyr for one croc, and a second martyr is about to go down. 
This could very well. Look at those buggers fly through the air. That was impressive. I think they got three or four backflips in a row. The judges are coming in. Yes, that's a 10, ladies and gentlemen, as the German bodies fly through the air. This is actually this is actually doing very, very well. Yeah, somehow, but he just doesn't have infantry to cap. Uh-oh, is that going to be... Yep, there's going to be a boot trap on the oh, left. <laughs> oh, and they're so slow, he's on fire, and he's gone! Oh, and there goes the body. More <laughs> Hummels coming. This, oh, my God, talk about overkill. And talk about yeah. why doesn't the tiger why die? The tiger die? <laughs> Look how... You must be really annoyed right now. That's just how weak the Churchill Crocodile's main gun is. It just, it cannot penetrate the armor of a, of a, of a uh, tiger. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Nothing doing. It took that long to kill it. Oh, the HQ truck is running into sector artillery. <laughs> oh no, it's on fire. Look at the, the front is on fire. Oh, this is the best thing ever. How's that guy surviving? And that's a little hot in here, Sarge. If you look, there's no guy driving. There's no guy. Well, there's no guy driving anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he is, he is man. Bad. Pull in another HQ truck and get speed governors and run into their base. Oh, dear. That sector artillery has definitely been pivotal. Well, one the, of these uh, crocodiles. Five infantry and four vehicle kills. There's a squad down right there. And he's just... He's blocking the retreat path. You see that? <laughs> That's yeah. pretty crazy. The fire another is mark going. Up. Oh, dear. Another mark. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, well there goes there goes the <laughs> That's sector about artillery it. just knocks out the Churchill, and the other one the martyr will do. This will be in oh, game. That is. Nope, he has game. another truck. <laughs> oh man, he's just hanging on by tooth and nail. He's gonna build. What's With he gonna forty build? tickets, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That yeah. was a pretty damn good game. Uh, towards the end there, it was pretty obvious the German player was going to win, but the two very best players for British and Panzer Elite facing off in 1v1 on Sturzdorf. I don't think we could have asked for a better match. This one was fantastic. I was very yeah. happy with this. Very entertaining. Good games being exchanged. Good and, jogs uh, being exchanged as good well. Good jogs, <laughs> yeah. I like good jog. <laughs> good jogs are very healthy for you. Yes, it is. Is that what he is? He, is that like an insult? Yes, Were you jogging that whole game? I mean, it was so easy. I don't know. There it is. Oh, that was an entertaining game. <laughs> definitely, definitely unexpected, I would say, because the infantry being pretty much given up by the British and uh, no tier three, no fireflies with a thousand fuel really could have uh, helped him stay in this game and turn it around. I just don't think Royal, uh, Royal Engineers really helped him that much. It just didn't do him that good. No, but so. I've never seen Scorched Earth used to a better degree. Sector Artillery use was spot on. Very well done. Yeah, Very well. and people always mock it. Ah, Sector Artillery is worthless because they just leave the sector. But damn, with, if Sector Artillery plus booby tracking the sector so you can't you know, get rid of that, yeah. oh, that's pretty damn And cool. never forget, <laughs> Bridger, booby traps are overpowered. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> against noobs. No, actually, I think the reason that Scorched Earth works so well on this map is the massive amount of munitions. I mean, you've got a plus 10 here, you got a plus 10 back at the base, you got another plus 10 here, you got a plus 5 there, and that's just the ones that are easily on the German side. So he had plenty of munitions the entire game. I mean, this ain't no point du hoc. He's got Especially plus 69 the income. Kettens. The early Kettens were really yes. instrumental in his victory. Yeah. Definitely. So now... If you go step. log on to the beta, you'll probably see three or four or five people copying this Scorched Earth strategy and just playing on, on Sturzdorf. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I don't have anything else to say. That was a fantastic game, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Tales of Heroes. Let me remind you, we are always accepting donations. Our, you know, continued showing of a show every week is basically brought to you by you guys. So if you're feeling guilty for getting all this entertainment for no charge... And that guilt is piling up at the back of your head and you think it's worth five bucks, go ahead and drop us five bucks. If you think it's worth ten, drop us ten. If you don't think it's worth anything, send us an email. Seriously, we like feedback. We listen to it. A lot of people are saying, get the shows out on time. So that's what we're going to do. If that's what it takes to get people to think uh, that they, that they want to donate, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our best to give back to you guys, okay? So until we get the subscriber system in this is the best we're going to do is, is just respond to feedback and potentially release special bonus stuff if we get enough donations over a period of time. We'll see. We'll see. That, that's something I've been playing around in my head. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> Thank you guys for tuning in to another great Tales of Heroes. 
for Rogers. I am Bridger, signing off. Don't forget, tales.gamefire.com is where you can donate to us. A buck a show, it's all we ask.